Hello everyone, welcome to Reviewing Spiders. Today we are going to be reviewing the first spider part in Cyberbunk by Mr. Meyer. Let's start the level. At first, this looks like a rather simple spider part that you'd expect to see in a degree of level like this. However, the more you look, you may see a gap like this. But I can easily walk down to the neck to the platform. So you decide the next attempt I'm going to rest my fingers and walk down this plat wait, what? You ask yourself. There is an invisible wall here that kills you. And you ponder. And you and you and you ponder this for quite a while before deciding to move on. And then you realize. There is another part exactly like that where you can just walk down to the next platform really easily. So you decide that maybe if it didn't work in that first instance, it'll work this instance. So you go to that platform and decide to rest your fingers here. Until again, the same invisible wall kills you. And you, and you are completely confused by this. If the creator, if the fabricator, did not wish for the for the visitor to walk down the platform as easily as I attempted, why didn't they just use the gears that they already have here to block my path? As that would have easily gotten me to teleport. I don't know why. <clears throat> so yeah, that is today's review. If you are making a spider part, please make it clear where there is an obstacle or else you will get confused players being confused about your game design. That is all for today. And finally, as tradition, we must finish off the review with a certain phenomenon that many scientists are still confused on today.